Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one, we're actually going to be checking out Daniel Lee's opinion on if the VV verse is a spatial clone or if it's going to save Omi holders in 2023. So, um, before we jump into it, I want to give you all my opinion just based on the title. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, let's jump into it. So, starting off, it, it seems like the topic is going to be comparing the VV verse to if it's just like spatial but worse, better, maybe, or something like that. But from my perspective, the way that I look at it, the key here, the key play here for VV is the IP. The IP and what is going to be in the VV verse, more so than just how the VV verse looks. As long as the VV verse isn't absolute trash, that's all we really need it to accomplish because we have the power of these brands to, to draw in interest. So as long as we can create experiences and we can build things and, and we can rent our NFTs out to people and it makes sense for them to want to buy, as long as we have all of that stuff, that is all we really need for this investment to be successful. If you think about any successful movies, they're all filmed at the same locations. We have so many movies filmed at Grand Central Station um, in New York and things like that. We have so many movies, but, but they're different movies. It's the, the content within the movies are, are what makes it different. It's not the same movie just because you see some of the same locations here and there. And that that's what it is with the metaverse as well. If it's a good, solid-looking metaverse, it's going to come down to the content within that metaverse more so than just um, the the quality. And if it's just like a uh, if it's just like spatial or something like that, like even even video games. A lot of video games got guns, like it, but guns in Splinter Cell is used differently than guns in Call of Duty. Like you know, Call of Duty you just run around gunning. Splinter Cell the whole point is to be tactical. How you approach the game is just different, you know. So. That I think that those those distinctions is what makes a uh, 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 um, metaverse is what's going to make a metaverse. What's actually involved in what what do you have to offer in your metaverse and why someone is going to be there more so than oh they have they have a cool game already built or they have a cool metaverse already here and things like that because what one person what one company has that and they say that this is their metaverse that may not necessarily even be as good of a metaverse as as metaverses are going to be or it may not even be a true metaverse. So yeah, it's just so much, so much um, that that we don't know yet, and so much that's yet to be, you know, discovered about metaverses in this space as a whole. It's it's so new. So um, yeah, I I hate the like. Well, it, obviously, I'm one of the ones who do the comparisons between everything, but it's not. It, they don't really make sense. They they're not really. It's not substance when you do certain comparisons because we don't know. Like spatial, congratulations, they've done some great things. Um, I heard that they even have like uh, Mattel hoverboards from Back to the Future as well. Like I've, I've I've been hearing stuff like that, and congratulations to them if they if they have some IP, cool. But at the end of the day, they're not going about this how VV is, and VV's approach has been dominant. Um, which is why something like Spatial can exist, and a lot of people still don't even know. You know, so yeah. That being said, let's jump into it, y'all. Hello, my name is Dan. Welcome back to the channel. So this will most likely be my last video for 2022. I don't anticipate making any more videos for this year, but I wanted to end the year by just kind of going over what we can expect in terms of the VV verse. Now I've talked about the VV verse in the channel. It's kind of a metaverse collecting experience that VV is providing for us. Ultimately, it's going to be a social experience that's going to be kind of a picture of what we could reasonably expect with the metaverse in terms of VV. And I saw a demo of this in person in Anaheim Designer Con just a couple months ago. And although there was a lot of parallels to uh, spatial, I thought there was a lot of robust features in there that we could maybe reasonably expect. And it kind of gave me some confidence of what we could see going forward in the future. Ultimately, I came out of that experience very optimistic. And some naysayers have said that, well, it looks like spatial. It is a almost identical experience. And I have never really dived into spatial, so I couldn't really say, although I did recently explore spatial and I kind of got the sense of where they were coming from. It does look visually similar to spatial, but on the same note, I think the VVverse will be very robust. And actually, when you look at spatial, it is really, really, I don't know if you saw my previous videos going over Decentraland as well as Sandbox, but those are kind of ultimately very boring experiences, despite the fact that there's so much money pumping into the mana token as well. as. It's just the, the fact that they were first. So it's like they, they were quick to release something. So when you're comparing 
what they've released to nothing else because nothing else can be compared to it is the best investment at that time. When other things start to come out, now you you don't just have a great looking experience with the Vverse. You have a ton of IP and not just any one IP. You have all of the IPs together. You have you have plans for future things in the future. You have you have anime coming. You have so much to look forward to. It's it's like it's a no brainer. And it's like I said, it's the content that creates the metaverse. You know, the content is going to be what's the deciding factor of if a lot of this stuff is going to be successful or not. Sand respectively. So I do actually believe that spatial is really kind of a very dry, boring experience as well, kind of similar to those other projects in a way. And I don't mean to bash spatial. I'm just giving you an honest review. I want to kind of compare spatial with the VVverse because if the VVverse is ultimately kind of boring and very similar to spatial in a negative sense, uh, this may not be great for our investment, even though I am ultimately going into 2023 very optimistic what we could expect from the VVverse. So I do want to compare these two. Now, ultimately, if you do like my content and you wish to support me, I just merely ask that you support my channel by liking the video, subscribing to my channel for more great content just like this. And let's get into it. So before we begin, we first have to ask ourselves, what is spatial? So Spatial IO is dedicated to helping creators and brands build their own spaces in the metaverse to share culture together. Spatial empowers their users to leverage their beautiful spaces to share eye-popping content, build a tight community, drive meaningful sales of their creative works. Spatial also empowers users to create beautiful and functional 3D spaces so they can mint, sell, rent NFTs to others looking to host mind-blowing experiences so all we can really see from this is that ultimately there's spaces that you can create you can visit you can showcase your nfts but ultimately it's designed with kind of the same goal that i would say vvverse has showcase content nfts allow people to have a social experience and maybe kind of contribute to this metaverse experience this sounds exactly what uh, in a lot of ways, the VV team envisions for their VVverse. So let's dive into Spatial. So when you first kind of dive into Spatial, you can attach your MetaMask to Spatial.io, and you can also use Google and things like that. There you go. Like the, you need the MetaMask and things like that already off rip. Um, look at that. Eyes on this 2.3K, 4.6K. So they have some some viewers. Um, but yeah, for to actually have experiences released i don't know if these are full games like what you can do can you walk around and actually experience this but if these are experiences that are current they exist and they're released already and this is the type of, of attention that they're getting it should let you know that they're already doing something very very wrong um because vb got a hell of a lot more attention than this and they didn't even have anything outside of the brands but that's just the power of brands that's the power of all the brands that they have um there's nothing right here that we see on the screen branded now imagine something more similar to a VV experience than what we would see here. Like we could see the Bet Cave on one of these. On another one, we could see the Jurassic Park forest or something. On another one of these, like maybe um, I don't know, like uh, Naruto or, or Dragon Ball Z, that that world back there. We could see actual licensed branded spaces in the VVverse, not just. You know, not just random stuff that so this stuff is all going to be eye catching like the Superman, the Superman spaceship or the Superman little cave or whatever. Um, you know, like there's iconic scenes that we can see and we can experience in the Vverse because of the partnerships that VV has. Now, um, I'm not sure if it's going to come. I'm not sure if that's in the plans, but I, I just believe that that's the most logical approach you with this IP. You have all this IP. You're trying to build a metaverse around it it's most logical that you have this IP to use this IP, which they've said that they want to build an experience around this IP. Um, VV is not just about the NFTs, it's about the experience tied to these NFTs. So um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, if VV weren't, wasn't planning to do something special with these NFTs, they could just release NFTs like a marketplace, and then you take the NFTs over to something like Spatial. But no, they, they're building out their own metaverse because they have their own vision. And then they and Ready Player One is their vision. So let's not stray away from what they say their vision is and how they've delivered on everything else that they've said they're trying to deliver on or, or they're working on it. And they have always continued to, to go the route that they said they're going to go, even through, through all the hiccups. But 
on the first glance here, you see that you can explore immersive spaces. And there's a kind of a good list here. You can also sort by popular as well as live now type experiences. And once you actually kind of glance at the live now experience, you can tell right off the bat that there's really not a whole lot of users here, right? And we have spaces that really are no under 10. I don't see any space here that has over 10 people live exploring these various spaces despite how cool they may seem on the surface and even the trending spaces don't have a lot of people so that's kind of the biggest red flag right there obviously people might be exploring it but they're probably not spending a whole lot of time there i've kind of mentioned this on my decentraland sandbox critique but really if your friends aren't on these platforms you're not going to spend a whole lot of time there and really your friends aren't on there probably because there's nothing really to do, right? There's no games to play. There's no experiences to enjoy, whether that's maybe a concert or something. You know, there's really not a whole lot there. And I don't say this in a way that I'm trying to bash these other platforms and elevate Vivi because that's something I happen to enjoy. It's just an honest critique. I think anyone who looks at this page can automatically say, yeah, I'm going to explore a little bit, but there's obviously not a whole lot of people there. So I'm not going to invite my friends to have an experience here when there's really nothing to do. Now, the first thing I want to show you is my uh, home. This is my home. It's a pre-generated kind of place to hang out. And right off the bat, I do think it's actually uh, really cool. It's a little glitchy. I don't know if it's because I'm lagging or what. It looks but nice. it occasionally is hard to maneuver through kind of different objects that kind of can glitch through sometime. But honestly, I think this is a really cool space that, you know, has a lot of enjoyment here. Could I invite a friend over? It looks like I can. It's like, what's the purpose, though? That's the thing. Like, you built these spaces and they're cool. It looks amazing. You did a great job building it. But what's the purpose of it? What purpose does it serve? What problem are you solving? VV solves a problem. There's the collecting industry, you know, there's there's gaming. There's a lot of different industries that VV is trying to touch. But spatial is just nice looking. It's a nice looking experience you can walk around in. That's not enough. That's not enough. And I think that this is why VV is so successful because they have a whole vision outlined. And if you've been here for a while, you know the whole vision. You know that there's going to be things that you can rent. You know there's going to be like there's going to be a reason to have ownership you know that you're going to you're going to own certain things and you're going to be able to rent your things to other people who who don't necessarily need to own those things. So for instance, if I own a Todd Batman, which I no longer do. Moment of silence. But yeah, if I own a Todd Batman and this Todd Batman comes with a skin for a video game, someone can now rent my Todd Batman from me from me and basically what they're doing is Basically, they can buy the skin. They can buy the skin, but when they buy the skin for their video game, what they're really doing is renting my Todd Batman. That's what they're doing. So they may not know that, but that's what's happening and behind the scenes. So they're trying to buy a skin, but this skin is really just a utility for the Todd Batman. So they, they bought their skin, which rented my Todd. That's, that's what we're moving to. Everything's serving a purpose and having a reason for existing, you know? So, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. And and I think that that's what a lot of these projects are missing. Purpose. Like, yeah, cool. Great. You you one of the first metaverses. But being one of the first metaverses for the sake of being one of the first metaverses, like, who cares? <laughs> you know? But, I mean, this, this it looks great. Like, but vision, vision is definitely important. It's a lot of companies out here that just does things just to do it. And it doesn't make sense. I can obviously chat here if you can see some functionality. I can maybe customize my avatar as well. This was pre-generated, but I can customize my avatar. And creating my avatar really was actually pretty easy. I just took a picture and they created kind of a general template here. And I think this is generally pretty cool. Little avatar of myself. And you can also create an avatar using Ready Player Me. So a lot of little customizable options here, but I've decided to go with my general template. You can actually unmute this and talk to people. You can turn on the camera and see people. These are some features that I think I did see on the VVverse as well. Though, honestly, I really do believe, I'm not just saying this, I think the VVverse features were really a little bit more robust than that. But I can also share a screen. I can have a sticky note here and write some things. And I can... Like I said, even more so than just the technological, 
you know, aspect of it because anybody can update their tech. Any, any company can advance their tech and take their tech farther, which if you want to argue which will be able to go farther, the companies partnered with Disney, Marvel, and the biggest brands in human history, or, you know, something like Spatial. Like, if you want to argue, like, which one, like, come on now, tech-wise, tech VB can win out in the long run, damn near, compared to any company. Um, especially with already what VB has accomplished just on its own. Let's not even include the partners. The, the partners may be the reason for VB's success, but VB has accomplished enough on its own to do some amazing things. But like I said, it's about the purpose behind the metaverse. And I, I think that a lot of these projects lack purpose. I think that's the biggest difference between the VBverse and these other um, these other things. It's like, what's the purpose? What's the point? Because I don't know. And it may have one, but if it's not known, who cares? This is why no one is on the platform as it is. No, what what purpose does it serve to be on it? If the VBverse was out and there was things doing the VBverse and stuff like that, people would be playing on it. People would people would be experiencing it because of the IP attached to it. People like the VBverse wouldn't be one of these dead metaverses out here if it was out, you know. And that's the difference. It has purpose. Stuff people are waiting for this stuff already. People want this, you know. Search things by URL. That's actually pretty cool as well. Now, one other place I wanted to show you is this uh, VVverse penthouse here. Obviously, you see a lot of different collectibles here. There's That's a lot fire. of VV fan that kind of got into Spatial when it was first kind of uh, revealed there. And I think people are able to showcase a lot of their collectibles. And I imagine you could do something very similar with the VVverse, right? Because obviously that's where you want to be showcasing your VV collectibles. And I think whoever this user is, they did a really good job kind of building this penthouse. It looks really, really cool. That's amazing. You see a lot of different kind of collectibles there. You have this kind of galaxy uh, spanning star like V. And this is the thing that, that concerns people. They're like, you see the plane there, you see the penthouse. People are like, yo, if, if, this, if this project could have all this and still be dead, what if what's going to happen to VB? That's the that's the approach that the bears would take. Not not ever realizing that purpose and things like that actually matters. Like that's the stuff that people are going to miss out on. Like the reason for someone to use this stuff. Um, and that's that's always a good question that people ask. They're like, yo, why would someone even play in the VB verse? Why would you play a mini game where you can play a full game? It's like these are questions that invalid questions, but there are answers as well. There's answers. And even if everything's not answered right now, that's an answer you should be looking for. That's an answer you should be suggesting. That's the point of right now doing a bear market is to build and suggest these things when you have an amazing question like, why would someone be here if this exists and this is dead? You know, these are questions that should be asked. This is stuff that should be talked about. But no, it's not It's not talked about. It's just people lose faith. People don't want to have conversations. People don't want to want to hear one another out. Like, it's... It leads to just unneeded frustration. But um I'm gonna end it here. I don't wanna I don't wanna talk too long. I'll let you all watch the rest of the video on his channel if you have not seen it. Um but yeah, I just really wanted to cover this topic and go over it a bit. I think the whole point of this at, at the end of the day, from my perspective, the the whole uh the whole thing is about the purpose. The purpose, the vision, what's being created, why is it being created, things like that. This just looks cool. It looks like a game, but with with NFTs and stuff in it. But I don't think that that necessarily is what a metaverse is. I think that there's much more to it. So I think that we need to see a lot more from all of these metaverses. And we need to see something from Vivi. Um, but I mean, the, the reveal was nice, but there needs to be more in this space. Like, especially if you want to lead the space. But what Vivi wants to accomplish, they are kind of behind. They're kind of behind. So we need to, well, we're behind in, in terms of this type of tech in a metaverse. Like, as far as the IP no one's close but you know there's other aspects to this vision that we bought into so that we need to see some delivering on some of these other things so let me know your thoughts um be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new yeah i'm gonna catch you all in the next one peace out joe